Dear friends and fellow seekers of longevity, welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, the channel where science, clinical research, and practical wisdom meet to help you live longer and healthier. You've probably heard of alkaline ionized water, the so-called miracle water. Some claim it can detoxify your body, balance your pH, or even slow down aging. But is that really true? Is it science? or just clever marketing. Stay with me, because in the second half of this video we'll look at what the real research says and trust me, the truth will surprise you. First of all, what is alkaline ionized water? Alkaline ionized water, also called electrolyzed reduced water, is produced when an ionizer passes electricity through ordinary water. This creates two types of water, one acidic, mainly used for cleaning, and one, alkaline, with a higher pH and a negative electrical potential that marketers call energizing or antioxidant. It sounds impressive, but does it really do anything for your health? Supporters say drinking alkaline water can neutralize body acidity, improve hydration, fight oxidative stress, and even prevent chronic disease bold promises, but are they backed by science? Let's look at what peer-reviewed studies actually found. And it's not what most people think. What do you think really happens during electrolysis? What role does molecular hydrogen play? And most importantly, are there real benefits or hidden risks that no one talks about? Over the past decade, researchers, including Tyler LeBaron's team, have studied alkaline ionized water in depth, and the verdict is clear. The possible benefits have nothing to do with the high pH, or the so-called negative charge. They come from dissolved molecular hydrogen gas, H2. Hydrogen, not alkalinity, is the only component that shows antioxidant potential in both lab and small underpowered clinical studies. When scientists removed hydrogen from the water, all the benefits disappeared. Every other popular explanation, micro-clustered water, electrically charged molecules, or pH balance, has been debunked by chemistry and physiology. Remember, your body keeps blood pH tightly between 7.35 and 7.45. Drinking high pH water cannot change that. And if it did, it would be dangerous very dangerous. But here's the catch. When the pH of ionized water exceeds 9.8 or 10, the risks increase. Animal studies show tissue and heart damage, probably due to metal nanoparticles like platinum leaching from the electrodes. Moreover, in people with kidney problems, it can lead to hyperkalemia or dangerously high potassium levels and excess alkalinity may reduce mineral absorption and disrupt gut microbiome health. That's why Japanese and Korean health authorities warn against drinking water above pH 9.8. So, no, not all ionized water is safe. And in this case, more is definitely not better. Okay, now let's move to conclusions and practical advice. Water is essential but it doesn't need to be ionized. If you're interested in hydrogen's potential benefits, choose neutral pH hydrogen-rich water, which is safer and more stable. And remember, true longevity doesn't come from gadgets or fads. It comes from long-term healthy habits, a mostly minimally processed plant-based diet with fish and low-fat dairy, different forms of regular cardio, and resistance exercise, a restorative deep sleep, and stress management focusing on emotional and spiritual health. As we have discussed in previous videos and in my books and scientific articles published in the most prestigious medical journals, that's what truly extends life and health span, not the pH of your water. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching Longevity Now. Longevity Now FL. If you found this video helpful, 
feel free to share it with your friends and family and all the people whom you love. And for more new science and insights on how to optimize nutrition, exercise, emotional, and spiritual health, follow me also on LinkedIn, X, Instagram, and Facebook. This video has been created and curated by Luigi Fontana, a professor of medicine and the Leonard Ullman Chair in Translational Metabolic Health at the University of Sydney, and the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic and Healthy Longevity Program. And remember, Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health.